What's going on guys? We are doing some looking tonight. I'm excited to get out here and see what we can find. A little bit of water in the bottom here. I guess, uh, I guess I forgot it has been raining just a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't cause too much of an issue while we're out in our adventure. Nothing in the first one, we'll have to keep on looking. Dropping some stuff off here. It's actually a little bit of stuff in here for once. Really, really nice to see. Yeah, we're dropping off some snacks and some cookies. I don't know how long it's been in here, but somebody threw some bacon and eggs in there. <laughs> it's not that cold here. It's not that I'm cold, but. I'm nervous. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to. Yeah, somebody threw some bacon and eggs in there. That's funny. I'd take it. I'm sure it's fine. You know how freaking excited I would be if I came to one of these places for <laughs> some snack food and found bacon. bacon and eggs? Yeah, I would freak out. That would make my day. Got some apples in there, some spaghetti, some cookies, some more cookies, some bars up there. Somebody split some, uh, made some little snack bags. That's a great little thing for a kid, for sure. What is that, yogurt over there to your right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm keeping a couple of these up and get a chance to grab them out. We always bring stuff up here and go, ah, I'm going to keep one of these. <laughs> Usually it's due to whoever packs the box doesn't ask the other if they want their favorite thing like i didn't ask stacy if she wanted me to keep those out which i don't know why i didn't i know she loves those Definitely. my bad and i feel like she is yeah. donating some though the crackers too she is sharing she's a good person you're keeping all the crackers well i need to go first because i think a bunch of them are crumbs. oh okay yeah. oh cool some stuff anyway i'm gonna keep these oh so yeah we're done a bunch of bubble gum and stuff over there too. All right, let's see what's in this dumpster. I don't see anything actually. No. Nothing in that one either. All right, let's see what's. Oh boy, what's going on here? Dang, there's some totes. Dang. That matches the little planter that we found in one of our more recent videos. Uh, I would take those totes, but we are actually on a bit of a road trip right now. So we do have to be careful what we take. Uh, we're looking for stuff that we can donate along the way. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Took me a while, huh? Uh, oh, hello. hey buddy. Ah. What are you used to get him? He looks sick. He's probably been in there for a long time. We gotta find something to lean in there. I wonder if you can just set that in there so you can climb up on it. Yeah. You alright, buddy? Oh, poor little guy. Yeah. That should help him. That way he can hop up and out. Huh? Yeah. Shoot, I hope. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. Um, I'm gonna put the crates on top of there if he can hop out. I 
No, we don't, unfortunately. I just had a creek down on top of that. Maybe he can climb up. Poor thing. Aw, you got yourself trapped. Let's see, I wonder if we put a crate. Here, shine it up. Oh, look here. Is that a board? That is a ladder. Oh, nice. Literally could not have been a better thing. <laughs> Maybe this good. happens often, huh? <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Aww, poor right guy. Up, he looks kind of hurt. No, he's just scared. Okay. There we go. Good deal. I'm willing to bet that that thing back there that somebody built, that ladder, was specifically for that purpose of getting raccoons out of the dumpster. That's kind of cool. All right, so we got in a little bit late last night from our road trip dumpster dive. And today, for Kane's birthday, we're going to go check out... It's not my birthday currently. But, but it's about to be. And for your birthday, we're going to go check out the cavern. Because that's what we're going to do right now. We've woke up. We're getting packed. We've had a really nice breakfast on the hotel, which was really nice. And now... We're getting ready to head out to go do some spelunking. I hope I got Are you ready, you little spelunkers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a fun I, word. I hope I, I got some presents from you. Uh, cut. I can't wait to see you. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Are you ready to go spelunking? Did you go Christmas shopping? Yeah, yeah last year. <laughs> You're a little behind on that one, bud. I mean, birthday shopping for me? Not yet. <clears throat> but you going on a birthday trip. All right, we got to get packed up and get out of here. I did bring shirts this time, but only because Stacy packed my bag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just taking the hotel extras. <gasps> You're stealing? I'm not stealing. We you paid for those. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. <laughs> Speak for yourself, man. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. No bed bugs allowed. Kids, this one. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah, I did. And a free breakfast. You can't beat that. We've just entered on Longhorn Cavern State Park Road. We have what six miles to go till we get to our destination and go below ground. It's gonna be cool. Y'all excited? Yes. yes. I really want to see those caverns. I love caves. I think this one's gonna be bigger than the one we did last time. I, I think it is. I think it's much bigger, but I'm not see. sure. We'll I have to see. see. Halactites? Yeah. I don't know if they'll have any of those here or not. We'll have to see. It's going to be fun. This is a place that was built in the 1930s. I think it was the original office of the Longhorn Cavern State Park, which is pretty cool. I took an extra step. Get out. Oh, cool. What is all this? All of marble. Rapidly flowing water and underground rivers. Stoward and polished limestone. Wow. This is the entrance to the cave right here. That's the bathroom. That's what I said, Aaron. <laughs> Wait, why is that? There's the gate. Here. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, that does not look safe. It's 
boy. Wooden shingles. That's really cool. Are you fishing right now? We're on top of the building. Whoa. Hey, that's pretty cool, huh? Watch out, what down. A big compass up here, too. What? This is a compass, kind of. Well. My goodness, we're kind of high up here. Can we get down? Can we get down, please? That's pretty cool. We haven't even explored this side too much. Let's try. You don't know how Let's check out the observation center here. You don't know how much anxiety I Look, have right now. Look, the cave's over there somewhere. Okay, let's get down. Oh, no. And let's check what's in there. There's a balcony. Oh, this is cool. Right, we should probably go check in now. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's go to the other That is insanely cool. Come on. You can keep going that way. Oh, you can? Yeah. Takes you back down. Wow. Sarah's so wonderful. Still. <laughs> That is so wow. cool. If I see any infants, I'll tell you. <clears throat> Man. I'm kidding. That is insanely cool. Wow. But they are waiting for it. It's like a natural spring. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I don't know what that is. Uh-huh. It's got lines on it there. bigger and better. Now, these deposits form when that carbonic acid, that water carbon dioxide mix, stays in one area for a long, long time. Eventually, the carbon dioxide begins to leave the water. Ew. My least favorite part of it is the floor. Uh, it's my least favorite part too. Oh. We're done with that. That was pretty cool. Uh, we just got out of the hole and now we're headed to go find some lunch because we're all starving. Uh, the cave was pretty cool. I filmed maybe 5% of the entire cave. That one was a lot bigger and a lot longer than the first one that we did uh, on our last trip. But that one's a lot easier to walk, I feel like. It's not as slippery, it's, it's not as muddy, it's not as wet. So. If you're ever in the area, I do highly recommend checking out Longhorn Cavern State Park. It's pretty sweet. Oh no. We're taking a bit of a detour here. Stacy saw a sign for Harbor Freight, and of course, we're going to stop. Just got to find it, huh? Secluded. 
Oh, it is. Like I'll pull it over on your side. For courtesy purposes. <laughs> and it's shaded. Not bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe, I don't know. There's the stick over there. I am sure that those boxes are empty, but we're definitely going to give them a poke. So that one's empty. That one's empty. Empty. Okay, we got a whole nother That one's empty too. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can see all those air prints down here. Yeah. So we've had lunch. I guess it would be dinner, actually. But, uh, we decided to, we're actually just behind an old cemetery. It just so happens to have this old river running beside it. And uh, we're just kind of out poking around, doing the stuff that doesn't cost money. And uh, we had an epic bamboo battle. I think I won. If you want to challenge me, you may. But it will end in the same result. Just want you to know. Um, and Stacy found something really cool, actually. I mean, it's not like incredible or anything, but uh, it is a first for her. And we'll get her to show that when she gets back up here. If I can get over there. Well, you don't have to come up right now. It's fine. I'm just going to go look around for a minute. Go see what we can get into. Really nice back here. this engine over here and there's a model number or something right there dang dude that's hey, Dad, crazy i think we found your new ford <laughs> yeah that's a big old sucker too man yeah i wonder what that went to that's huge i think it might be a diesel but i don't know looks like the old pan's gone the old what it's a whole engine it's crazy <laughs> Stacy, come on. I went across it. Don't get your foot wet. Just walk across the thing. Grab a stick and use it as a balance, Stace. Dad, don't forget that piece. That weird metal thingy. It's over there. Step right here. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Got my pocket loaded with flint. <laughs> <laughs> I got this huge thing. The huge. Oh, you know what? Uh, well, I can't do it. Like I said, my I would have came and got out. you. All right. We're leaving the creek. Aaron found a bunch of flint he's going to use to make arrowheads out of. In fact, I even tried to wiggle pick the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that didn't work. maybe if I like make some really good arrowheads and, um, and if we do an auction, I'll sell them. That'd be cool. Oh, do you still have your thing you found? But this is the weird thing I was talking about. Huh. What the heck that is? That's some kind of screen or something. It almost looks like like it's packed with dirt. I don't know. I'm digging it out. You She's drop looking. it. There's her find. My very first find ever. Her no first variant, shed. <laughs> I've never found one actually either. It's pretty cool. Hey, I wonder what happens if we Mama, break that. Mama, tell me if it's that antlers. I can't it's hold weird. it. It's weird. It's weird. It looks like it was... Yeah. Alright, Aaron found something pretty cool and very interesting. we got to go find it because I stashed it up here by the trail. We were on the way back to the old truck. And you know how cemeteries have these big piles of dirt. Hello. 
Okay. You can guess what these guys were doing. What you got? You find any flint? Well, actually, yeah. I gave it to Mom and I don't know what she did with it. Oh, my gosh. It's a lot of flint in the area, so these guys were just kind of walking around this pile looking to see if anything had, uh, you never know. We're just kind of killing some time, enjoying the last little bit of daylight we got left. It is fastly disappearing. 210, that's us. That one? Uh. What are you doing with that? Here. Oh. Nice. This is like the absolute cheapest place that we found. After taxes, it was like 60 bucks. It didn't have the best reviews, but uh. This is not a cheap place. For the price, I figured we'd give it a shot. That's not bad at all. I mean, it, it's pretty dark in here, but. I know one of the things people were complaining about was the room was pretty. You can't see anything on this camera at all. There we go. Dude, it's too dark. Turn off. There we go. People were complaining that the room was dated and this and that, but I would rather I would rather pay sixty bucks a night for this than I would, you know, one hundred and twenty dollars a night for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What? That's the door to the bathroom, sir. Another thing they were saying was the bathroom was small. What do you expect? 60 bucks a night. Uh, Come on, I like it. I went on complaining about the safety out here. Yeah, I'm not mad about that. I'm sure there's some things that could be changed about it, but again, I, I don't like 60 it bucks a much. night. I'm going to go check the cool stuff. Just about it. That's cool. <laughs> it's not bad. All right, we've had a little bit of time to rest for the day. What are we doing now? I scare you. Oh. <laughs> My thing broke right here. Yeah, if anybody knows what that is. Look, it broke right there. And it gets extra black like it's been burned or something. I don't know what that is. If somebody knows, let me know. It's heavy. It's, but it's not metal. It's not lead heavy. It's not metal, it's not lead, and it's not magnetic. I don't know, man. For now, we gotta run to the old store and get a fan because we can't sleep without one. Also, we need to... Get some water. Yeah, thank you, water. We're gonna leave Kane here by himself watching these ghost shows while we're... No? no? You coming with us? Yeah. Oh, Alright, let's roll. All right, we got everything we needed. Now we are going to check some dumpsters. A little bag down there. This is a Goodwill though, so I'm not really gonna mess with that. They have parties back here or what? Grills mm -hmm. and everything else? No That's cool. All right, to the next one. It's actually starting to rain, so. What's this guy right here, actually? Besides locked. It is, it's locked up tight. We can still peek though. It's empty. Empty. What in the world is that blue freaking turn you into a superhero looking sludge in the bottom of that thing? It smells like laundry soap. All right. Hopefully we find some stuff before we have to call it a night. Empty. They're all empty. It is a big one. All right. Morning, guys. What's going on? We are sleeping. And mom's taking a shower. What's this guy doing? I was about to watch a video on my laptop. What did you get to watch? Watch restoration video. Yeah? Yeah. What's up, Kane? Hi. How are you, bud? Terrible. Why? Tired. Tired? Well, so today we have reservations at Enchanted Rock State Park. Uh, 
I guess it's one of the highest elevations in the area. It's a hike up a rock. Or a small mountain, I guess. I thought it was only going to take maybe an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Two hours max. But apparently it's a four hour hike. Uh, sorry, four mile hike one way. So, four and a quarter miles. Uh, and it's 1,825 feet high. Okay, so this is probably going to end up being like a six hour thing. So, I'll just see how this one goes. Right, we have departed our hotel. We are headed towards uh, Enchanted Rock. Enchanted freaking rock. I don't know what to expect. I've never seen it. I don't know how big it is, but it's a nice drive anyway. I imagine we'll be able to see it from some distance away. You have to keep an eye out. We suspect that to be Enchanted Rock right there. Oh, look, there's a sign that says Enchanted Rock. Wow. That's nice. How cool. So where do we go? This way. Two feet up. <laughs> Maybe Aaron is right. This is about to split. Huh? He's so you want to go straight up here. They couldn't just hike the trail. I had to take the detour up the side of the mountain. We can't do it. This is what happens when you let a 45 year old skinny kid lead the trail. Uh, a nice gradual trail leading up here is not this one. He's taking us straight up the side. Hey Dad, you ready for more? No. Not yet. <laughs> oh my god. It All is right. beautiful though, I do have to say. Daddy. Uh oh, stop that. Yes, I got a water. Where's mom at? This is too bad. Oh there she is. Hello, mama. Get over here. Good luck, mom. Getting up this was kind of hard. I bet it is. It's still not showing up. Uh-huh, I'll tell you. <laughs> Quit doing that. <laughs> well. Come on, honey. I don't know. <laughs> my heart's a little yeah, You're not going to climb my mountain and not have your heart be a little hoo. <laughs> Get away from the edge, Kane. Oh, mine's already been a little okay. harder. We made it up to one of the points. We're still not even close to being that high, but we've almost made it to the peak of this guy. I assume we'll be able to make it. I don't know. How are you holding up? Making it? You better listen to me.
Kane. Yeah. Let's go to the top. Not that way. Wait. Right up through here. Up through there? That's where I'm going. Okay. Hang on. Stop. Oh my gosh, dude. Other hand. Oh my gosh. It's kind of chilly. It's so chilly, I left my jacket down there. Wow. Now we gotta try and figure out how to get down, huh? Same way we got up. Yeah, sadly. Pop's down, Pop's Not much battery left, but we're working our way down the side of this cliff. We're almost down. Wow. Except we did not take the trail again. And got his foot stuck. He did. <laughs> And you almost fell into a bunch of cactus. I'm yeah. All right, we finally made it down to the bottom here. It's where it's flat from up there. It doesn't look that far on camera, but it's very, very steep. I hate very it. steep. It was a bunch of doing this, making our own trail. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. Pretty good view up there, huh? But this is not awesome. Aaron got cactus in his fingers and he decided to wear Crocs. So he's not having the best time. And I'm bleeding. And he's bleeding. And I'm Those are all signs of a good trip though. No. Those are memories to look back on. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing about it is like the times that are easy and like without conflict, you don't remember. Something bit me. But you probably always remember this, you know? Yeah. Goodness, it's like I know it's like the things that suck are the things personally I, I tend to look back on the fondest like you <laughs> yeah. know I don't know that's cool though all right we're walking to this little swampy area I trying to oh <laughs> here we go we are done with our mountain climbing adventure and very tired. The end. <laughs> We're almost to our next stop, which is going to be Brian's house. Uh, you may remember Brian from such films as. Oh my god, I just found the best arrowhead of my life. Me. <laughs> We're going out to his place to stay for a couple of days and do some more digging. And uh, hopefully find some more cool artifacts. That's the idea. Hopefully we can get these guys on one. I play Geometry Dash. Jane, where are you at? He's asleep. <laughs> oh, by the way guys, we climb, that's not one of the ones we are supposed to go up to. Enchanted Rock is the only one you're supposed to go up. So we kind of made a mistake there. We're not the great at following rules, it's alright. Yeah, that's why there's no trail. It looked like one, but there really wasn't. I like hopping off the trail and just seeing what you can find, you know? Yeah, <laughs> but seeing. sometimes it's not a very good idea. This time, it worked out pretty good, I think. It was painful, but we got to see some cool stuff, you know? Yeah. I would highly recommend, highly recommend Enchanted Rock State Park is if you've never been there before. It's insanely beautiful out that way. And if you like to hike, it's a good place for it. Really, really fun. Just know your limits. 
Yeah. Yeah, know your limits. <laughs> there is one trail and it's two and a half hours. It takes you two and a half hours to walk and uh Just don't do what we did and go straight up. Yeah, don't uh, go up any other mountains than uh, Enchanted Rock. That mountain we went up to, that's when we weren't supposed to. If but you, we did it! Yeah! If you have like a 70 pound 9 year old that's in pretty good shape, don't let him leave. You'll kill yourself trying to keep up with him. <laughs> oh my God. To a bed. I mean, the Bryans. <laughs> I said we were about to be to a bed. We're so tired. I write Brian. He says, okay, y'all, y'all go and park over in front of the bungalow. Then come out to the back so we can get a quick dig in, he says. <laughs> wow. I guess we're going to go play in the dirt. It's like almost dark, but. Who cares? And I don't imagine he it's going to be. He has a light out there. I don't imagine it's going to be a quick dig either. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna be out there for a Aaron, while. Put your gloves on. That's Mark awesome. It's so nice. I love him. He's a cool awesome. guy for sure. In fact, I'm gonna tell him I have a gift for you. Would you bring him beans, right? Pinto oh, beans oh germinating. Gosh. All right. Where did you find it, Aaron? How deep? In that chunk. So we are down here digging. We've here, I don't know, about 15 minutes or so. Hasn't been long at all. Aaron was digging this spot right here. And uh, you want to show him? Yes. He found his uh, his first broken piece there. And it was right here just sitting on that chunk. <laughs> nice, buddy. Thank you. What if we should put the light back? Yes. Oh, that's in, uh, behind here you? it is, all cleaned up. Yeah. I can put it back here. Huh? I can put it behind you, shining yeah, this way. Yeah, that should be a little to, bit better. You'll be fighting your shadow, though. Oh, good point. I, I think it's better. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you can't really see the wall. What you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm trying to turn off the your GoPro. The wall yeah. No. Oh, you all right? He just clocked himself. Huh? He just hit himself. Yeah. You alright, man? You okay? Alright. We got here and everybody was uh, real tired. <laughs> and then here we are. I don't know, man. An hour and a half later. We're done digging for the night. We were at it for a couple of hours. Didn't even plan on digging when we got here, but we did some digging. This guy over here found a broken piece. High five. Uh, Kane smacked himself in the face with a shovel. That broken piece is absolutely beautiful. And you found a broken one too, right? Yeah. Okay. But these are the digs. This is where we're staying here, actually on the property. So got two king size beds, fridge, microwave, some DVDs. Nice TV. This is really, really nice. We're outside and uh, we're about to go arrowhead hunting. We're about to go dig in. I'm going to go plant some pinto beans. Not yet. Maybe. All right. Our trip is coming to an end. We haven't filmed much over the last two days because all we've been doing is digging. We got some pretty cool stuff. But we'll show you that here shortly. Stacy's been digging in a hole for the last 48 hours. Basically, huh? You still got it going on, no, baby. Bye. All right, we are on the road making a couple of stops along the way because what the heck and why not take some peeks here let's see if we can find anything along the way Ooh, that's trash man this, this sucker's full 
is kind of a funky shape. Trash. On a Dollar General here. I can't tell if that's um. Oh, let me see if I can get my butter over here and look a little better. You can't see it from what you stand on. I can't even see it from what I'm standing. Oh my goodness, they did throw some stuff out, didn't they? They did? Yeah, look, there's what sugar. Uh -huh. I can't reach this stuff. So there's nothing in that. I had to use a camera. But yeah, there's some sugar. I'm not going to bother with that. I think there's some possible stuff in there. So it's smelly. I'm not digging in that now. That's somebody's personal trash. Looks like they tossed some eggs out down in there. Huh? You open the doors? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. What's in here? No. I mean, I did see a whole box of eggs down there, but I don't know. It's been odd all day, and I don't know um, how long they've been in here. This is not our territory. But, as we've always discussed when it comes to eggs. Yeah, let's get them. Holy cow. Get the eggs. Let's take them. Goodness. I'll be the guinea pig. Yeah, me too. I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about them one bit. So, <laughs> we're bringing home some groceries. Check this out. What? Dumpster diving with no gloves or shoes. <laughs> That's the Adam for you. <laughs> Whole thing of eggs. Can't argue. Oh, if I can walk. <laughs> My turn to get out. Is it like flint right there? <laughs> it is. That's funny. Let me waddle my butt over here. I've been sitting, kind of hurting. Yep, nothing there. Just a bag with a hole in it. Looks like we got a bunch of boxes in this one here. So I'm seeing straight through is boxes. Oh man. Let's see. Yeah. All right, that does it for this one, you guys. I do apologize greatly for the abrupt ending, but. Uh, this was a series of about five days where we were just non-stop going, 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 and uh, we were just pooped. Uh, so, not much of an ending to the, ending to the video. Uh, what you're watching now is a clip from the first time we went to uh, go see Brian and Stacy dug up her beautiful arrowhead. Um, if you'd like to see our finds in greater detail, uh, be sure and leave that in the comments. And, uh, well, we've got enough that we could probably do an entire video just on our artifacts. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure and drop it down in the comments below and we'll make it happen. Uh, if you are interested in doing some artifact digging yourself, be sure and check out Brian's page over on Facebook. It's called Deep Texas and um, he'll get you set up where you can get out there and find some of these little bad boys like we did. I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our little cobbled video together that we did here it was uh it was tiring so uh, there was definitely a lack in videography skills uh, but it is what it is we love you guys and we'll be back with another video as soon as we can